Let me ask you something. Have you ever heard of the saying, where energy flows, attention goes? Travis, Chief Explorer. Huh. Yeah, sprawling city skylines all the beauty that we see. New York born and raised, so I know there's more to see. I can be your host, your usher, your guarantee. Leader of the pack, let's walk up and down the streets. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Success Corner. I'm your host, Jazz, and this is the 17 secrets you need to succeed in life based off Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. Today's episode is the 11th secret that you need. Now, this secret ties back all the way to the sixth secret that you need, which was self-discipline. Now, in order to get to a place of understanding and putting into action the 11th secret, they go hand in hand. So today we're talking all about controlled attention. Attention, attention, attention. If you're not putting all of your focus into the desires, passions, goals that you want to achieve and you're wrapped up in distraction, well, let me tell you something. I don't know how you can think that those manifestations, those dreams, those visions that you have and see yourself doing can come to life. It's quite literally impossible because your mind is now connected into something that has no purpose in how you can achieve your own goals. So let's look into specifically controlled attention and how Napoleon Hill describes that. So Napoleon Hill describes controlled attention as the highest form of self-discipline. Now, what do you think that is? Let's think about it. In order to remain focused in a controlled manner, you have to have the self-discipline to put your phone down, to not get stuck in a loophole of endless YouTube shorts or your Instagram feed or TikTok or Candy Crush. I know for me, sometimes I have so much going on that I need a little break. And even so, because of how my brain works and that I am very stimulated, that I know for me that focus is something that I've had to work on because my mind goes a million miles a minute, constantly things going around and I need to be doing, or before, previously, I felt like I had to be doing six different things at once because doing just one thing wasn't enough because my brain was looking for more which has its benefits but also has its cons when it comes to controlled attention and making sure that i put my focus into the right things so i can achieve everything i want to achieve so it's the same thing you know maybe my thing is candy crush or having music playing while i'm reading while i'm answering emails, like all different things. You, Yours might be, hey, um, my favorite blogger is always posting videos or whatever it is, and I'm always watching, and I watch one video, and then I watch another one, and next thing you know, it's five hours later, and all of your attention went into this other person, and now you have nothing left in order for you to achieve your goals. See how that is like pouring all of your cup into another cup? So you don't have anything left to give energy to what you're actually trying to build because it's gone. He defines, Napoleon Hill defines controlled attention as this. I'm just going to read it to make sure I got everything. Controlled attention or effective concentration requires that the attention be focused, fully controlled, and directed toward a definite end. Napoleon Hill teaches us that there are six factors that are necessary in order to achieve controlled, focus, controlled attention, right? What are the six factors? Let me go over them. The six factors are a definite of purpose, imagination, 
desire, faith, willpower, and the subconscious mind. So in order to achieve controlled attention, you need all six of those factors to create the perfect storm so that you can now use the power of controlled attention towards your personal dreams, goals, manifestations, successes. So you'll find that when you apply those six factors with controlled attention, along with a definite of purpose and making sure that you keep your end goal in mind, no matter what, you will start to see that the subconscious mind is now responding to you in a positive manner. Everything leads up to controlled attention, right? But also too, that's why it's so important to, if you haven't checked out the previous 10 secrets you need to succeed in life, I suggest you go start from the top and really work yourself. Or even if maybe you have some of these principles already instilled in your life, maybe look around and see, well, I'm missing the mastermind or I'm missing a pleasing personality. Every one of them equals to success there isn't just i have one and i don't have the other you need to have all of them in order to really create that success that life that you want there are things that i'm currently doing right now that my attention is solely focused on because i'm now moving into the next stages into my life and i'll be really excited to talk about that later on on jazz tv and more personal vlogs but i'm putting everything that i say into action every single day i do the work i make sure i work on my personality i make sure that i stay controlled in my focus and i don't let distractions get in or when i feel that a distraction is creeping in because i'm working on my subconscious mind daily If I sense a distraction coming in, because so easily it can come in and just take everything you've been working for, I easily reaffirm the positive mental attitude that I'm in and remind myself, what is my end goal every day? And especially when life comes in and throws different curveballs at you, that's when you really need to know, why are you doing this? Why do I need controlled attention? What is my goal? So when you start doing this and you include the factors and you get focused on what you're doing, no matter, because guess what? Let me tell you something. The universe is funny. It is funny. If people, let me tell you, if you think that the manner of how, of the how, of how you want things to happen is going to be, we don't know the how. All we can do is put the action in, keep our attention focused on what our dreams are, and go and do small steps. And the how happens miraculously. But they want to make sure that what it is you're asked for, you really want. Because nothing in life is for free. Nothing. You're going to go through challenges and distractions to see like, well, you said you wanted that house. Do you still really want it? Because I'm distracting you with something else. You have to be able to stand firm in your goals and your definite end and block out everything that is not for your highest good. And if you don't know what's for your highest good, then you need to go back to the beginning of the series and get comfortable being alone with yourself to figure out What is your highest good? It's because when you get quiet in the mind, you'll start hearing the answers that you need. So I want to thank y'all for joining me today in the Success Corner for the 11th Secret. I'm your host, Jazz. I'm truly blessed. I'm truly grateful. Thank you for taking the time to watch to the end. I hope that you found some value in what I've been saying and that you share it with somebody else who needs to hear some of this information. It's free to you. All you have to do is subscribe, comment, like, and be positive. And you will see that things will start happening for you. So join us back next Wednesday, 5 o'clock p.m. for the 12th secret. It is boiling down. 17 of them, and we're getting closer and closer to the end. And when I say the end, it's just the start of the next.